At ESMO 2022, I presented the results of the Radicals HD trial. This is a trial testing the use of androgen deprivation therapy, ADT, in men getting post-operative radiotherapy after radical prostatectomy. We know that men who have radiotherapy as their initial treatment for prostate cancer benefit from ADT, but in the post-operative radiotherapy setting, the role of ADT is uncertain. So we set out to test the efficacy of ADT, and in particular to compare short course versus long course ADT. So we aimed to do one three-arm trial comparing radiotherapy alone, radiotherapy plus six months of ADT, radiotherapy plus 24 months of ADT. We actually ended up doing two two-arm trials, so none V short and short V long. And each comparison had about 1,500 patients recruited over the last 15 years in four countries, UK, Canada, Denmark and Ireland. And the results, the main endpoint was metastasis-free survival with a median follow-up of nine years. And it showed no advantage for six months of ADT compared with radiotherapy alone without ADT. But it did show a benefit for 24 months of ADT compared with six months. So in conclusion, radiotherapy alone in the post-operative setting is a good treatment with good outcomes. However, if you're going to have ADT in addition to post-operative radiotherapy, 24 months is more effective than six months. So I think some patients, particularly those with favourable disease, will choose post-operative radiotherapy alone without ADT. And other patients, perhaps those with more adverse features, they will opt for 24 months of ADT rather than six months.